I have a good heart, and it is so pure for you. <laughs> I just want to be pure. <laughs> I just want to be pure. Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact, and it's totally science. Uh, go ahead and look it up, please. <laughs> Today we're jumping into r slash nice guys. Oh, it's been a long time since we've seen you, nice guys. There's probably a reason for that. I mean, nice guys and neck beards overlap so much that the Venn diagram is basically just a circle. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that we've stayed away for as long as we have, but I figured it was about time to bring it back into the rotation. It performs pretty well uh, alongside neck beard stories. It even edges out RPG horror stories from time to time, which uh, honestly is pretty impressive. <laughs> I do like that a lot. There's no time like the present to mix things up, try some new stuff on the channel, at least a little bit. Uh, Dayton Dies, my creepypasta channel, is back up and going strong, and I'm just in a content creation mood. So while these stories aren't like text exchanges, we're going to save that for Praying Mantis on Mr. and Mrs. Red X, mine and my wife's channel. They are basically text walls from nice guys, and <laughs> I don't know, it never fails to crack me up. Hearing it from the mouth of the beard or the nice guy, as the case may be, is just mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to witness, so that's what we're going to do today. We'll see how you guys like it. Let's go ahead and get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive into some of this r slash nice guys cringe. Found a real gem on Tinder. Uh, my PC has more power than your ex's wang and truck combined. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> I won't hurt you mentally, only sexually. <laughs> I think I'd be prefer to be hurt mentally, honestly. Doesn't one lead into the other anyways? Jesus. <laughs> Looking to have a queen and worship her. Yeah, that's how relationships works. That that sounds like a nice even exchange of power, does it not? <laughs> Relationship is the goal. I hope he never finds it. That poor, poor potential woman. <laughs> if you're a BBW, swipe. Don't be afraid to swipe right. I don't judge. I mean, I got nothing to say on that one. Big girls need love too. What is that that uh, big boy says? Keep your hands off my cheeks. Let me study how you about to be, you big freak. All things considered, that's probably the least pathetic thing on this entire list. <laughs> he also says he's a Slytherin. Oh, God damn it. So am I. <laughs> Mr. Simon. Bring me a drink. <laughs> Just because I'm the ambitious sort, don't you see? I used to think I was Hufflepuff, but I'm not social enough to really be, like, a loyal or good friend. <laughs> the comments might disagree on what house Red X belongs in, but that's my belief. Uh, he likes wrestling, but not WWE. Yeah, that isn't real wrestling. That's like soap operas for men, but with fighting. <laughs> I don't know if actual wrestling is all that much better. I think he just threw that in there to try and sound tough. He also likes video games, but only on the PC. Duh. Oh yeah, PC Master Race type of stuff. Didn't you get the memo, bro? The console wars are over. <laughs> They've been over for about a decade. Nobody cares anymore. Play whatever you want on whatever you want. I PC game all the time, but guess what? I rock a Switch too, and I don't feel bad about it. Supernatural. What is that? <laughs> he thinks he's a werewolf? <laughs> Not another one. God damn it. Horror movies. Oh, yeah. Imagine the guy that doesn't want to hurt you mentally, only sexually, watching specifically horror movies. God. Those two lines put together just skeeve me out real hard. I'm six feet. That means five foot ten. 
<laughs> I'm that nice guy that you ignore for douchebags with red flags and then complain that you're emotionally damaged. Oh, he said it. <laughs> He's a nice guy. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't have red flags. Like, he is the red flag. Just a human-shaped bundle of red flags. <laughs> I do not like it. Uh, I love cats as well. Honestly, do you think that he's capable for loving and caring for another human being? Or not even another human being, another sentient life form. I think he's just saying that he likes cats to get some cred on the internet because he thinks it's still 2005. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you get back to I Could Has Cheeseburger, all right? We're trying to do big boy things over here. Tinder things. Things that you wouldn't know nothing about. <laughs> and he probably never will. So yeah, that's the, the shortest one that I got. These next ones are so beefy. So uh, it's time to strap in now that we've wet your appetite just a little bit. You have a place in my life, and a place in my heart that is just for you. <laughs> have a good day, Mallory. Know that I'm here. I still exist. <laughs> right out of the gate. Uh, holy God, I love it. Already. I, I still care, and I still believe this flame will never go out. <laughs> Uh, what movie did he lift this from? What universe is he from that he thinks this is going to work? God, this is why I love it to hear it straight from them. It's just unfiltered and horrible. <laughs> and you will always have a man that will make it through the hard times. Bro, you're having a hard time right now. <laughs> you need to pack it in. Right by your side. And will make you proud to say that he is your man. Yeah, that's, that's my man child right over there. <laughs> the one that's whining to me about how he will never let our relationship die, even though I clearly want it to die. <laughs> I can promise you, I won't let you down. You already have, son. <laughs> I promise if you have these feelings for me, you'll know how valuable they are to me. I have a good heart, and it is so pure for you. <laughs> I just want to be pure. <laughs> I just want to be pure. Honestly, right now, it seems like he's going full-on White Knight, but I'm just waiting for the, the switch to flip and him to go into full-on nice guy mode. <laughs> it's my favorite part. And I'm just like you in many ways. And if I get hurt, it's never the same. <laughs> Consequences will never be the same. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's long as shit. I got to get through this. So, uh, let's be what we have potential to be. Whatever the universe has planned for us, let's manifest it. <laughs> this manifest destiny ass. <laughs> because this whole experience happened for a reason. We are capable of love, and we deserve love. And I want to be that for you, Mallory, with all my heart. I want to be that for you. <laughs> God, I hate it. Uh, it makes me die from cringe. Oh, <laughs> it's just horrible. Yes, the white knightery is quite strong indeed. I, I guess this is goodbye. I wish you the best, but I have to do what I know will help me let go. I can't have any contact or see any reminders of you. Just know this ain't what I wanted. I wanted you. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mallory. Oh, and that's the end of the post. No, it's not. Uh, please call that number and tell this guy named Blue that you do care, that you do want him in your life because he doesn't believe anymore. And he's hurting real bad about missing someone that he really cared about, feeling like he's fighting a battle that he already lost. I don't know if this is supposed to be like 
a different person talking to her, <laughs> but they write exactly the same way and from the same phone. This is essentially the same as those memes that are like, oh, you don't want to be with me, Mallory? And then the next text is, hi, it's uh, Blue Guy's mom. He died last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anybody's buying that one, Chief. Give him something to believe in, because he's gonna be numb and lonely for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most accurate statement so far. <laughs> Lonely for a very long time indeed. Uh, because the one he's been searching for his entire existence doesn't even recognize him anymore. Ugh. And he can't handle it. He needs you. He needs you so bad, Mallory. <laughs> <laughs> you know that mindset where girls are like, I can fix him? Well, they only say I can fix him when you're not standing there begging for it, okay? You gotta be a bad boy. You gotta be a bit more nonchalant about the whole thing. Just uh, please call me or something. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Later, I miss you. Mallory, I can't keep doing this. You can tell me. It's okay. I'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, you can't keep doing this. But I have the feeling that you're going to. <laughs> Promise. I... <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I respect what you want. Don't let me feel these ways. Tell me. Give me at least that much respect. That will help me, slanted emoji. Or uh, tell me what to do. Because you're so beautiful in every way to me. <laughs> God. Uh, my skin is crawling. These are nice things to say when you're in a relationship, but obviously she's giving you the brush off. So just take the L and walk away, dude. <laughs> Why does it go on for so long? Oh, and I enjoy being next to you <laughs> more than I can explain. But whatever happens, life will go on. And I can miss you every day. <laughs> but at some point, it'll happen. And you slowly stop thinking about that person. Don't. Please. Don't be that. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> That's what my three-year-old says when he doesn't like what I'm doing. I'm going to take your toys away. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're different. You're so unique, and you are my lover and my friend. <laughs> I don't think she's ever going to be your lover, bro. If she was at one point, that shit is over. <laughs> Let it go. And I will always be here for you if you want me, but only if you want me. So, So tell me. And I'll respect whatever you want. I, I promise there's nothing to worry about. You are good. And I care about you. And I'll never do anything to hurt you, okay? <laughs> I promise you that. I am flawed. I have bad anxiety. <laughs> I am flawed. <laughs> uh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> this is so classic. He's like, you just have to tell me no and I'll totally walk away. Yeah, we've seen that trick before. He just wants any sort of attention. Do not give it to him, OP. Please. One single word and you will never be rid of him. I promise. <laughs> and all this because I don't know what to do when I'm not being told. <laughs> you ever want an automaton for a boyfriend? <laughs> it's okay to tell me. I will be okay. I promise you. I will be okay. Yeah, you seem like such a strong, independent person. <laughs> uh, please, like, can you see this? Just say yes or no. I will be okay. <laughs> Stop saying it. Uh, and unfortunately, OP does respond with, fuck's sake, I'm at work. 
<laughs> Don't read it then. <laughs> <laughs> this novel you've written, but you worked so hard on it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Wait, because I mean what I say, and I miss you, and I care. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Why does he always repeat himself? Like it makes the, the statement more impactful? It's just annoying. You're doubling the length of this post without even trying. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, especially the one right before the last. I don't want to go fast either. I promise there's no pressure. I want to go fast. <laughs> I want to go fast. I do think OP probably does want to go fast, but not like in a relationship with this guy. I mean, fast, like in the opposite direction. <laughs> Run! I actually can't at this moment. I understand. Just wait until later. I mean what I say, and there's no pressure. <laughs> I just worry if it's over and I can't take all this time away or at least compete broken communication. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> really? You sent me like 15 messages. That is pressure. There's no pressure in the sense that I know we're not over. <laughs> That's all I wonder about, Mallory. You can tell me what to do. That's all you have to do. <laughs> God, dude, I hate it. He's such a simp. He's just such a wormy little man. And <laughs> I use that term extremely loosely, obviously. I, I promise you. I'm following your lead, <laughs> but if it's over and you'll no longer see it, well, that's different. Uh, I'll give you space, but I miss your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I miss your scent. I miss your musk. <laughs> mm, I miss your musk. <laughs> I, I don't want to forget all those things, how it felt. Being with you. Oh my god, you actually... Uh, how could you, OP? <laughs> you actually opened the door for this dude? I cannot imagine. I'd really like to ask OP, like, what was the appeal here? <laughs> I do not see it. I, I can be patient. I promise. I so prefer that. But just tell me something and... Don't go too far away. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. That hurts, and I end up worrying. Tell me anything, and I won't keep poking at it. I respect and trust you. I told you that I'm at work, so fuck off. <laughs> That's really what he needs to hear, just like some buck wild stuff. It's the only way I see is you being rid of him now, is unloading both barrels. I just want it to be how it was. You said that. And if it's not gonna be that way, it's best I go on my way. You also said that already. <laughs> <laughs> I won't mess it up again. I promise. Yep, heard that too. <laughs> this is my biggest flaw. Does he just say the same thing all over again? <laughs> Uh, please understand, all I need is a little affirmation, and I won't poke at it again. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll listen and trust you and, and never double ask like I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> all these things that I'm doing right now, you can make it all go away by complying with my wishes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How did I get talked into this one? <laughs> I'm ready to enjoy each other like we were. Ooh, enjoy each other. I'm ready to be myself and be next to you again. You love me and you are my girl and I'm gonna be the best man ever for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alrighty. If I just say, yeah, I believe that, will it make the noise machine stop? <laughs> Anything for some peace and quiet. 
and we're going to have an amazing relationship and bring each other peace throughout. <laughs> uh, just like you've given me so much peace right now. <laughs> Why? Because I promise. <laughs> <gasps> Holy God! Uh, this will not continue, <laughs> but it will though. I can't breathe. Just please don't leave me hanging. I can be patient, but please, I need you back, Mallory. I won't become overbearing. You know what all I'm asking is. <laughs> I won't be overbearing. Just submit to me. <laughs> God, it's so transparent, is it not? I'm your sweetheart, huh? and I have a hot bod that's all yours. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, the cringe has turned my spine into powder already. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, we're not even halfway through it. <laughs> we are twin flames. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, we're goals. Uh, you're my biggest support ever. And I'll carry you around forever. Uh, <laughs> I love you. Holding me as tight as I can. We're not perfect. We're not. <laughs> Especially one of us. <laughs> I'll leave you to guess who. But what is true will stay true. And we are meant to be, Mallory Blue. Crying emoji. <laughs> I want to treat you so sweet for Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh. There's just a lot to unpack here. Back to us, babe. No more. No more worrying. I trust you. I promise I trust you. <laughs> and I want to enjoy this process. Every second of it. And take it slow and not leave out a single detail. <laughs> <laughs> that I do believe him on. He does not leave out a single detail. And then he repeats said details about five fucking times. <laughs> I need that. And I need to know or my heart will burst. I can't miss you another day. If this is it, then I will cry for six months. <laughs> <laughs> six months exactly. I marked it on the calendar. I totally mean it. Six months straight. I promise that will be our fate. <laughs> Please, this is one in a million. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so. I don't know if I could ever endure something like this twice in one lifetime. And then dude seems to snap back to reality and says, But this is about you. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Whatever you want. It is okay. God, I, I promise. It is okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will never hate you or hold a grudge. We are love. And everything that I do or say to you will be love. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got to be, like, super young, right? This is, like, the throes of puppy passion. <laughs> if this dude isn't, like, in high school or just out of high school, I swear I will eat my hat, which is not a fedora. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the repetition that gets me, dude. And if you want me, Mallory, please love me like you did it first, holding nothing back, because I will never lose that again. <laughs> it looks like you lost it, bro. <laughs> uh, you gave me more than enough affirmation that day after I broke down, and I know what I did, and it won't happen again, Ugh. and I'll never be the reason that you're hurting, Mallory. I'm here. Please have me, because I'm all yours, baby. I promise. I don't want you no more. 
<laughs> I threw the whole man away that day and I ain't digging in the trash to get him back, all right? Take a hint. Move along. There's plenty of fish in the sea, how about? I'll wait. <laughs> I know in my heart you feel the same, and if it devastates me, then so help me God, but I'll always remember the girl who touched my soul, Ooh, and the feeling of being next to her. Never have I felt so safe in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is a lot to handle. <laughs> I've got to talk to you later when you're off. It's been almost a week, Mallory, and I haven't heard your voice. Ooh, no fun conversations. You send me snaps of being upset and, and then ghost me. Please, place yourself in my shoes. Please be empathetic to how my heart feels. I did fall for you, okay? It was so real for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now we're circling back again into into blame. It's all about you, but why don't you put yourself into my shoes? <laughs> God, I wish this stuff had some timestamps so we could see exactly how fast these messages are coming. Because I guarantee you he's like bombarding her. <laughs> Love bombing is what I think they call it. I learned that from the comment section. But yes, back to the love maestro. I care about you, Mallory. And I have a good heart. I promise. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> uh, I've got to know today. And I've got to see you soon. I can't take this. This is true love, Mallory. No more tension. <laughs> If this is true love, bro, I want no part of it. <laughs> you count me out. I'm single for life. <laughs> true love is two people that respect each other's space, have an equal playing field. This, what we're witnessing, is just another pattern of narcissistic abuse. And if it doesn't end with Mallory completely exploding at him, then I'll be really disappointed. <laughs> Honestly, I would have exploded a very long time ago at this point. Please, I am begging you. <laughs> We've got to reconnect and be there for each other or we go separate ways because it hurts. And if you are upset because of this situation, please blow my phone up and call a million times because I swear to you, I'm right here. Yeah, I see you, bitch. <laughs> Can you walk away? Can you give somebody else some space? It's like slowly shifting from hilarious into infuriating. <laughs> Jesus. I'm never gonna hurt you, but please don't leave me hanging. It's been almost a week, so I'm gonna call. And it's not gonna be all this stuff. I just, I just gotta know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude is obsessive as hell, and I hate it. And Mallory finally responds again and says, Do not fucking call me when I'm at work. And I've told you that you're already blowing up my phone. Uh, I'm not going to call you at work. When you're off, I am. <laughs> or you could just tell me to screw off. And the only reason I'm blowing up your phone is because you literally won't tell me if you don't see this working out anymore. Or that you do. And this is what I need to do. Literally, that's the only reason. Yeah, this is all your fault. This psychotic behavior that I'm displaying, this is 100% your fault. <laughs> I think the answer is pretty obvious if you have a bit of introspection. And then this freaking psycho sends her, The lovers of Aldero, believed to be no older than 20 years of age when death occurred. Alright, so they are young bloods. I kind of get the neurosis now. But yeah, when it's time to move on, it's time to move on. It's fine. You're gonna love a lot of people. Or think you love a lot of people. I don't think it was until I met my wife that I found, like, actual true love love. But yeah, these bones is like over 5,000 years old or something, locked in an eternal embrace. Whoa! Tragically, their story is unknown. 
Ironically, they were found in the city of Mantua in Italy, the city Shakespeare chose to set the story of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, that's gonna get her panties real wet. <laughs> Look at these skeletons hugging each other. <laughs> this could be us. We could be dead together. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the freak flag is really starting to fly now. Uh, I don't want to forget. Ugh. I love you, Mallory. Oh, God, he's insufferable. <laughs> this is why I tried to hold back when I said I loved you. This is why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you nailed it. Clip that. <laughs> he finally put it together. I usually block someone and cut the cord completely. C-H-O-R-D. Cord. <laughs> uh, what? So they know never to come back. And I am dying trying to force myself to treat you different. I know I can't do that this time. And it is torture seeing your name, seeing you post, and... Being reminded of the person who was in my arms a week ago. Who was crazy about me a week ago. Ugh. I'm gonna be real with you. I think cutting the cord is probably for the best. You don't want to see her name and stuff? Block her. <laughs> it's easy to move on if you're not obsessing over it. One week and he has already pulled his whole ass out for the whole internet to see. <laughs> Please stop, dude. <laughs> this is just so painful. It hurts so bad. And I can be so selfish. <laughs> but maybe this time I'll learn my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> you won't know until you try, right? <laughs> and I can be cordial. <laughs> cordial? Because I don't want you out of my life, but I'm crying every single day. It feels like I'm dying every single day. Hey, that rhymes. You're a poet and you didn't even know it. <laughs> I want to die too. <laughs> if you let me go, if you keep me blocked out, one day you'll look back after you realize that I had a good heart. And you will regret. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you gotta tell yourself, pal. You will know that I'm the man that you've always waited for. And you better not be upset. And you better not hate me. Because I poured my heart out to you. I'm sorry for being such a fuck up. Oh, he said it. It's the unfortunate nookie line. <laughs> uh, I love it. The only thing he was missing was the suicide threat. Just keep going. We'll get there. <laughs> Just let him ramble long enough. Please, Mallory. Can we talk today for like two minutes? I won't bother you again. And I think this is the day that Mallory finally decides to start responding. <laughs> I have an appointment today. Four? If you don't mind me asking. Why well, you gotta be a creep, though? And why hasn't Mallory just told him straight up to kick rocks at this point? I have my doubts that that would even work, but at least give it a shot. <laughs> I promise, if it's anything legal related, I'll back off, Mallory. I promise. <laughs> he makes a lot of promises, doesn't he? <laughs> All I wanted to know was that things are okay. I will not bother you ever again in my life. I promise. <laughs> uh, please stop. I am not that guy. You are definitely that guy. All I wanted to know was that it, the end of us, I will not bother you again. I swear. What does that even mean? I got vaccinated for work. I I'm just saying, I'm not trying to get in trouble and, okay, at first I thought it might have been for pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, maybe we have an unborn child. Don't get rid of it, Mallory. The intertwining of our genetic material is a sign of my love for you. I promise. <laughs>
<laughs> See, I've read enough. I can start talking just like this guy now. That's amazing. <laughs> Mallory says, why would I be pregnant? I'm on birth control. <laughs> I, I don't know. Mother nature. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> he wants it so bad. He's like anything that can bond us together for life. The birth control was a good choice, Mallory. <laughs> a real good choice. And Mallory says, yeah, well, I'm not pregnant. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Lol, just kidding. <laughs> He's totally not kidding. I'm horrified. So when are we going to see each other again? Ugh, can I at least call and talk to you for a few? I'm about to call. Will you please talk to me? Will you please open my snaps? Lol. <laughs> I love the random lol thrown in there to try and break the tension. It's not working. <laughs> this guy's going off the deep end for sure. Look, I'm gonna call, question mark. Uh, please pick up. And, and just talk to me for one minute. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> you said it was hot if I were to call 20 times. I'm about to be a real hot boy. <laughs> I need attention from you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We've gone from like this romantic it's all about you thing to just the mask being completely thrown in the gutter. Now we are getting down to the root of the matter. Do you not see? You could sum the whole thing up in that one line. I need attention from you. And then Mallory says no. And then, well, he probably doesn't just say okay and walk away. <laughs> That's not how I see this one going. That's probably why Mallory didn't bother to say anything to him. Mallory says, please stop calling me immediately. This is fucking psychotic behavior. I do not know how you cannot see that this is not okay. You need to leave me alone. The shit you sent me over the last one single day is absolutely unhinged. But it is an interesting progression for us amateur psychologists to uh, dissect, is it not? <laughs> All you had to say. <laughs> so is that a no, right? All you had to say. The post is over now. Totally. 100%. No, it's not. Psych, you thought. <laughs> so I, I guess I'll just let it go, right? Give up and we turn into strangers. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't blocked me. Because usually I do. So you'll know to never come back. But for once in my life, I want to do things different. Something tells me that this is what he does every single time. Or maybe this is the first relationship he ever had. I'll take either one of those two bets. <laughs> I want to act fucking normal. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're missing the mark on that one. <laughs> Instead of missing the hell out of someone that I swear wanted me. <laughs> I want to act normal. <laughs> Then just do it, please, for God's sake. Scroll up and read what you sent me over the last 24 hours and decide how much of that is normal. It's not. Oh, there's some self-reflection shining through. I miss you, Mallory. Does how I feel just not even matter? You don't see that I am drowning over here. Drown faster. <laughs> Here, I'll step on your head. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> You've genuinely made me afraid for you, so no, I'm not thinking about that right now. You're afraid of me? <laughs> First time anybody's ever been afraid of this simp. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. You already show up here unannounced once, and that was before you sent me 15 paragraphs and called me eight times in the middle of the day. Uh, I've never done that before, and I've never done this before either. Now, was that gaslighting or just stating that he's never had a girlfriend before? You decide. <laughs> I would never in my life do a thing to hurt you or freak you out. Not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he gives himself these little get-out-jail-free cards. I can change, maybe. Maybe I'll do it different. <laughs>
I was just confident, thinking that if she saw me and how sincere I am, then maybe she'll have mercy. <laughs> yeah, the basis of any good relationship. Pity! <laughs> oh, please just make it stop. I messed this entire thing up. <laughs> Uh, you think? <laughs> Things were good, weren't they? And I literally screwed this all the way up, didn't I? Mallory, can I just tell you something? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem like you needed permission for the last hundred messages, so yeah, go ahead. <laughs> And you, please find it in your heart. There is good in me. Please hear me out. This is the last text I will ever send you. <laughs> Place your bets. <laughs> I ain't no stalker type whatever. I will pull up. <laughs> now he's trying to be all thug and shit. Ah! Uh, fuck, dude. What is this? <laughs> I will never be that, what you're thinking. And yes, I will leave you alone. 100% STR8TF up. I'm not your enemy, and I never will be. Peace emoji. I thought you'd block, or I do, but <laughs> I suck at this, so talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Last text I ever send you, talk to you later. <laughs> God, I love this dumpster fire. <laughs> Mallory says, did you just knock on my door? Response at 4 a.m. Dude, no. WTF, I I'm totally asleep. Like, I'm not like that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, Mallory. <laughs> holla at me if you need me. Yeah, just holla. <laughs> because that was deaf, not me. I'm not going to hit you up again. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, and I promise you'll probably never see me again in your life. You can block me and there's nothing for you to worry about. I'm not going to come to your place. I don't have your location. I'm never going to bother you again. You're safe and I'm sorry you're afraid of me. <laughs> uh, oh my God, dude. Just block him, for God's sake. <laughs> Save us all from posts of this length in the future. I, I sent you my location on Snap like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't accuse me of stuff like this because I'm not trying to get in trouble with the law. This is not me, nor is this a good representation of who I am. Yeah, that totally ain't me. Straight the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Just holla if you need me or something. But I don't want to get in trouble with Johnny Law. That's not a good representation of who I am. <laughs> are you... Wh who are you? What are you? <laughs> Please, block me. Do it, Mallory. Put him out of his misery, for God's sake. <laughs> Because I don't want to believe that this is different than anything that ever came before. You're not different. I don't want to believe that anymore. Nobody loves me and never will for the right reasons. Oh, now he's gone into the self-pity phase. God, this is just fascinating. <laughs> you don't feel the same anymore, and I need that cord to be cut. Again, he spelled cord with C-H-O-R-T. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a musician? Does he just not know how to spell chord without H? <laughs> so, you block me. Please, because I can't force myself to. I love you, and I never want to give up, or let you down, or run around and hurt you. <laughs> and what's your reward for sticking through this gigantic post? Rick roll. Guy <laughs> yeah, must be a monster deep down. <laughs> but it's literally over, and I need the bucket to be kicked out from under me. You're gone, and it'll never be the same. 
You'll never look at me the way you once did. And you're not this one in a million, all this stuff. I can't take it. In my mind, you were a virgin. What? <laughs> and I'm just... I don't care anymore. I just want to cry and be alone. Goodbye, Mallory. Phew, it's finally... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> and I never had that. Where both people were virgins and lost it to each other. <sighs> FML, Mallory. I can't do this anymore. Goodbye, heartbreak emoji. Block me on everything. I promise, you're safe and I'll never pop up. You are good, I promise. And then she should just hit that like auto suggestion and be okay. <laughs> And is that really the end of this trash fire? Uh, I guess for now it is. <laughs> uh, this is where the OP stopped posting. Maybe there's a image limit or something on r slash nice guys. And honestly, I think perfect lawfulness in the comments says it better <laughs> than I ever could have. I made enough of my comments during the post, so I'll let him have this one. Mallory, Mallory, oh Mallory. I simply cannot breathe oxygen in without your express permission. <laughs> For here I am on this earth solely to have you walk directly on my balls, Mallory. <laughs> I can't see anything but your face. I can't eat or sleep. My dick is raw from screwing the squishy hole that I engineered in my mattress. <laughs> Don't you want to be the squishy hole, Mallory? <laughs> Can't you understand, Mallory? I am just a man. A man that ceases to exist if you turn your back on me. You must quit your job, Mallory, and devote your whole world to studying my prose and my pubic hair. <laughs> Mallory, if you don't, I shall surely die. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. Just promise me. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Jesus. I did not expect that to go on for as long as it did. <laughs> but I got one more post that I really need to cram in here. So I guess this is going to be a gigantic Nice Guys video that covers only three posts. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm just terrible at the meme subreddits. I don't know. Let's jump into it. All right, before we jump into this, I want to have everybody take a good look at this dude. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to comment on his appearance. I'm just going to let you look at him. And then keep his looks in your mind as we survey all that we survey in this post. I, I often eat alone at a Wendy's that's just down the street from my house. A little less than a week ago, I noticed that they hired a new employee. Uh, she's a fair-skinned woman who, for the sake of not violating a pending order of protection, <laughs> will say is named Michelle. Bro, he's got like an inventory of the Wendy's employees. <laughs> Oh, they brought a new one on board. And then he drops the pending order of protection in the first paragraph. So you know it's good. <laughs> uh, I was fond of her from the moment that I saw her. I immediately went home and scoured the internet to find out more information about her. I figured this way I would be able to learn her interests and engage her in conversation regarding them. Yeah, it's a little creepy, but I guess that it could work on an alien planet somewhere out there in the universe. <laughs> I remember initially thinking to myself that it's a shame how name tags don't include last names. Yeah, because of freaks like you. <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, all I had to go on was her first name and location. Yet, thanks to Facebook's ability to search by city and state, I was able to find her after just a few hours. Bro, deep Facebook trolling. 
creeping through the very bottom most of the search results to find, I guess, this woman based on her profile picture and her first name. We haven't talked about OPSEC in a while, but do not post things online that you don't want other people to find out about. Again, I'm probably not the poster child for that. Uh, once I did, I realized I hit a gold mine. <laughs> Her Facebook number was visible to everyone, not just Facebook friends. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you made a mistake there. Most women are scared to give out their number to a stranger because they don't think that they're trustworthy. But if someone asked you out on a date after looking you up and learning your phone number without you having to tell them, you'd likely be far more trusting of that person since they already know your personal information. <laughs> Uh, no, no, you'd likely be creeped out by this person. But oh yes, it's going to get a lot worse. <laughs> you'd have nothing to lose. That was my line of thinking anyways. So after obtaining her phone number, I figured I'd try to do something romantic <laughs> that would build up to me asking her out. I decided to use an app that would let me text her without revealing my actual number. The app allowed me to change my number at will. So yeah, apparently an unblockable number. I have your personal information, but I don't dare to give you mine. What an absolute freak. I'm hoping that this is just like a satire post, but if it is a satire post, it goes really deep. So yeah, essentially, the number was unblockable, which I thought was a good idea, since she might think it's one of her friends messing with her and block it right away. This would grant me the ability to remain a complete enigma to her. Oh, that's what women like. A creep that just keeps texting. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of mystery is good, you know, strong, silent type. I mean, it's never been my type, but I've seen it work for some dudes. But strong, silent type doesn't mean anonymous internet ghosts <laughs> <laughs> that crept through Facebook in order to find her phone number and simply won't stop texting her. Is this a real thought process that people have? <sighs> it might be. Once a day, I told myself. Only text her once a day, so it isn't creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we passed that point a while ago, didn't we? <laughs> Sadly, I was far too excited at the prospect of having my first girlfriend <laughs> to stick to that rule. Uh, my first text to her was simply... I saw that picture of your graduation you posted. Uh, you're beautiful. And then she's like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Why can't I block this number? I am horrified at the prospect of an anonymous stranger creeping on my Facebook. Why would you not have the foresight to like put yourself in her shoes for just... Five, ten seconds is really all it would take <laughs> to see that this is a horrible idea. Uh, later that day, when I was sitting in the Wendy's parking lot, I sent her another text that said, I can see you right now. One day, you'll see me too. Oh, oh. I am so skeeved out by that, dude. You think I won't quit my job over something like that? Before I knew it, I had texted her over 300 times in just a few days. She never responded once to any of them. Uh, still, not all messages contain text. Some were just pictures of her that I took while she was at work to let her know that I was actually there. Oh, God! It only gets worse. <laughs> I swear to God, my my spine was fractured by that last humongous long post. And now I just keep cringing to the point where the pressure has turned my spine powder into a diamond. A spine mend, if you will. 
<laughs> uh, please tell me it's sarcasm, satire, or something. I don't want to think that this is real. Uh, some of you might have noticed that I wasn't online at all yesterday. <laughs> There's good reason for that. Yesterday was the day that I met her in person and tried to ask her out. <laughs> <laughs> he really believed in his heart. Wishes do come true. <laughs> you poor little idiot. <laughs> it didn't go as planned. I walked up to Michelle while she was at the counter and told her that I'm her admirer. Her cheerful expression changed and she suddenly starts shouting, This is the guy, Marco. This is the guy. Marco is her manager. <laughs> he jumped from behind the counter and grabbed me while instructing her to call the police. I bit his arm hard enough to draw blood, but he didn't release me. The police said that the detainment was lawful, which meant that I was to be charged with battery for biting the manager in addition to stalking. Uh, this amounts to almost $500 in fines. Thankfully, father told me he'd take care of it since I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know that you are. <laughs> he just has nothing to do in his life. So this anonymous Wendy's girl has become the focal point of his entire world. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Get a job. Move out from under father's roof. God, I hate when people call their dad father. It's just so like disingenuous, disconnected. It really reminds me of Elliot Roger, if anything. Jesus. <laughs> the police also told me that she's filing for an order of protection, so I can't return to that specific Wendy's. Father told me to keep my chin up and to remember that some women just aren't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> now we see where he gets his charisma from. He said that if she thinks having a guy flatter her and think about her all the time is something to call the police over, then she must be one of those nutty feminists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the part that makes me think it might be satire, but I don't know, man. I've seen too much in my days digging through these subreddits. An unfortunately large part of my body believes that it is legit. After spending some time thinking about it, I realized that father is right. Sometimes you just have to remind yourself that it's not you, it's them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so poetic at the end. Holy shit, man. I just can't with this. After all of that, getting charged and getting a restraining order and all this other stuff, and at the end of it all, he's still like, yeah, it's, it's their problem, not mine. <laughs> you think he's not going to just go to a different Wendy's and start obsessing over a different girl? I mean, look at this dude, all right? He's not the worst looking dude that I've ever seen, if you want me to be completely objective, all right? You need to get rid of that creepy, wispy fucking pedo stash. You know, maybe brush your teeth a little bit. <laughs> You'll be good to go. Get some other stuff going on in your life. Employment would really help. I'm sure father would appreciate that, right? And then you could be like almost a normal functioning member of society. Not this creep that <laughs> basically harasses and stalks fast food workers, all right? Their job is hard enough without creeps coming into there and be like, oh, now I'm going to take some pictures of you. Ugh. What is going through your mind? Maybe he does have some sort of mental illness or disability, but that doesn't make it okay. He needs to get that sorted ASAP. I can't sign off on any of this. God, I hate it. Is it a three-strike state? 
Is he, <laughs> is he only going to have to harass a couple more ladies and then he's in jail for life? Because I might be okay with that. This dude shouldn't be out here walking around unemployed, spending all day at the Wendy's trying to pick out the girl that he's going <laughs> to attempt to woo. I mean, you can pick up a chick that works at a fast food restaurant, but god damn, this is not going to work for any woman ever in life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the creepiest possible way to go about it. You really want to go out with her? Walk up to her. Start a conversation. Say, hey, what do you like? What sort of music do you listen to? What do you do on your days off? Hey, when's your next day off? Would you like to go out to eat sometime? And she either says yes or no, and you take the answer and you just kind of run with it. You're like, okay, whatever you say, that's fine. I promise. <laughs> God damn it. I gotta loop back into that guy. What if we merge them both together? Oh God, what a creation. <laughs> this was this was quite an episode, you guys. R slash nice guys. I have missed it. We slowly faded from like funniness into impotent rage and creepiness. And I think that's a good way to do it, honestly. Funny to hook them in. Creepy realism to let them know that, yeah, this is real, okay? People are out there doing this stuff, and you need to be wary of it. Oh, yeah. But if you enjoyed this episode, I do hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. Friends, maybe share it around. You know, people love watching them nice guys. It's probably too beefy. I don't know. Maybe short attention span. We'll see what the analytics have to say once it's posted. <laughs> I guess. I also hope you'll check out them links in the description, of course. Plugs, playlists, podcasts. We got it all down there. We've also got my social media, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, and my Patreon. My gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons. I would like to thank them, Jerry, Jerry Mudge. So thank you. Robert Waits, Camille Sarah, Logan Wolf, I, I, Conrad Inge. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Red X, sir, I really need them spicy flu fun bucks. I stand there redeemed for 30% of their value in pirate gold. I mean, you gotta talk to Ramtide about that one. I, I got no hold over the pirate gold. <laughs> Captain Cloud, Jerry, Hong Kong, Aaron W, Twisted Child, Sarah Wana Wash, Cinema Susie, For Old Lang Sign, Jari the Pirate. <laughs> Just Ears, re Reap Random Yelps, J-E-R-R-Y, yeah, I'll go for that, <laughs> Silent Revolver, The Original Jerry, Jerry, Jerish Kitsune, Satori, 211 Jerry, A Jury of Juggling, like, juggling Jerry's, oh, I fucked it up already, <laughs> A Justy Jargonian Jerry, Alunia Demonista, Althea Blue, Ananaki, Assassin Pug Jerry, Bang Bang, Atheist Jerry, he's so euphoric, <laughs> Aurora Wildheart, The Moon Baron, Grizzly, Bailey Joy, Bearded Jerry, Pitch Gremlin, Blade the Hero, Blip Bloop Jerry, Commander J Tank, Confederate Jew, <laughs> Dennis Dayton, Dinosaur Nightlight, Disposable Waifu, Dr. Larks, Emergent Jewel, Aaron Lennox, Fell down this pipe running from a walking mushroom thing with eyes, I ended up in an attic, it smells like bobbles in here, Mr. J, <laughs> Frozen Over Studios, Fire Drake, Gypsy, Hadrian BR, I can't help falling in love with Jerry, I really ruined that too. I'm just off my game today. I'm Slim Jerry, yes, I'm the real Jerry. All you want to Slim Jerry, so just imitating Irish pirates. Top of the morning to ya. Itchy nuts, <laughs> just scratching, bro. A pimp named Jay Crisp. Yes, you have to say the whole thing. J.M. Coon, Jennifer Schaefer, Jerry Smith's Barbatus Cervicus, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Nice, Jerry Evil, Jerry the Outlaw Mother Trucker, Honk Honk. Jerry was a race car driver, and I got my super back. But we went around two, and my tires hit a bunch of bobbles, and a spud out. Ah, I hope you got insurance, bro. <laughs> Are you insured? By survival? <laughs> John Hero, John Jerry, Jingle Hyra Schmidt, Simbufa, because if you're boofing, it's free. KJW, Kajow, Kruhi, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry O, like and subscribe. <laughs> Uh, that is so good, dude. Holy crap. Like and subscribe. Milady Dix. <laughs> Melgar the Destroyer. Metal Fector. More metal than Arthur, Henry, Jerry, and Tom. Citation needed. <laughs> Mr. Carrot 797. Mikola Demikiev. Natari. Needless King 89. Is that like a parody of Needless Things? Uh, that's a pretty deep cut, bro. I think. Nightmare Jerry. Or Game of Jerry Steve. Patron Saint of Chicken Nuggies. Saint Jerry. Phantom of the Pines. Jerrykins and Jerry Beth. Rose Jerry Miller. <laughs> TSF Kirby. Sarita the Lolita. Saucy Octopus. Saw. Silo Imp slipped on the marble and into the neck being world. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Staples, aka Jerry Yeet. Stephanie Goodner, Synaptic Boomstick. Brilliant Tomato. Tabioca Baglue. Teddy the Police. Tento Monster. The Italian Greyhound. Dino. <laughs> the Life Bearded with Jerry Zissou. The Token Trans Queen Jerry. Uh, funny name pending. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry. The one true fusky. Tom, but it's the Jerry on the inside that counts. Church. Unbusy B. Hey, welcome to the fold. Viking Jerry. We had to go after Red X to distract everyone from Marble Jerry getting lost again on their way to the roller ring. Uh, again. Life is cyclical.
<laughs> Wikipack, welcome to the fold as well, friend. Will Mags, Comrade Mooney, Kira, you're a wizard, Jerry. Redwind, Naga Viper, Side Jerry, the Cyborg, Saint Blessing, a normal Jerry. Now in development by Red X Industries, Jerry Berries, the new Skittles, taste the berries. We're gonna need to work on that slogan, but I like what you're doing there. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter of Jerry's devourer of all things tasty. It is Tom, Admiral T Tank, Amara Alder, Atomic Jerryzilla, Breaker of the Tom Army, AZ, Babsy Goon, Barbushka's Irradiated Jam, Bartender Kirlia, Blue Dubs, Broken Spy Horseradish. But look, I made you some content. Dayton made you your favorite. Open wide. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Maybe. The original different Jerry, and that's Cake Jerry. California Jerry Girl, Chevron 7 locked. Comrade Jerry, provider of marbles. Oh my god, now we have a source. <laughs> Furry Worry, Awoo Jerry, Crypt Titties, Defon Jerry, DM Beard. A roll for seduction. A roll for seduction. <laughs> Dopamine Day Jerryus, Electrical Fennec, Ghost of Alpha, He Knot, Holy Berry Jerry, uh, Hydra Jerry Solman, Janet the Jerry. Where do all these marbles keep coming from? <laughs> now we know. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Jerry and Tom versus Happy New Year's Weird Apocalypse. Jerry the Sussy Baka. Jerry's mom has got it going on. Check out that mustache on Jerry Aldo Rivera. Yeah, it gets the ladies going. <laughs> Jerry Bean. Yum, Jerry Roxas. Yay. Jerry's STI pit maneuver. The van has saved the marbles. All happy day. Jerry role playing game. Judge Jerry and Executioner. Kid Marvelous. King Tom. Kitsikin. Life of a Guardian. Little Ann Woods. Lucia Lovecraft. M -M Machia. CD. Maybe next time. Milkfed Gimp. Miss Duchess. Not Invisible Angel. One leg Jerry found a chest full of marbles. My goodness. We're all rich now, kinda. In marbles. <laughs> okay, we can. Put your emotions on hold and let's talk about these nuts. <laughs> Uh, it's an unfortunate nookie callback. I love it. Uh, ghosty, rapture art. She's my Jerry Pie. Go drink a Mountain Dew with a big surprise. Sheep Jerry, working at Joanne Fabrics. And, uh, they don't carry marbles. <laughs> What's happening with the marbles? I'm losing my marbles, boy. Snary, that's snom Jerry. Spoony the Rogue, spoopy scary Jerry Tons. Techno dubs, the gaslighting Jerry. Help, the Terry that stole my channel's on to me. He knows that I found the secret of the Terry's, Tom's, and Jerry's, and I can't read the rest. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The Necro Jerry Con, the original Jerry, not to infinite Jerry and beyond. Definitely. Tuna Fish Jerry, Tom Promise Jerry Swears, although Bad Jay, Tommy, Good Boy, the Switch, just facts, holy size, go ahead and look it up, and by it, I mean, all the rest of the video. Does that make sense? <laughs> also, thank you to my $1 patrons, beautiful people that they are. Patrons, you make my day. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, if some more people would consider signing up on the Patreon, that is massive. I absolutely appreciate it. But if you can't afford to do it right now, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there. Wear your mask, wash your hands, do all the things, but also take some time out to do something that you personally enjoy today. Maybe like, uh, you know, watching some more Red X videos. That's cool. <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, bye-bye.